Hey guys, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and we're on the couch again with uh, from a horror tag from JP, double shot JP there, tagged me in the video. It's uh, my video response to him. This was films that uh, are on DVD, but they don't have a official Blu-ray release. And which ones would you love to see on Blu-ray? Now, I decided not to go with any bootlegs because there's a ton of those that I would love to see come out. So I said, okay, let me go through my collection. I watched Moods and I watched Enready's videos. So, I mean, Mr. Snickers' video, uh, he had one. So I watched a couple of those and thought, okay, let me pick some films that they don't have in theirs to make it a little different. So without further ado, let's get to the list. All right, so I hope it's not too long. Uh, the first one's an 80s slasher called The Evil Laugh, uh, put out by Lucky 13 Cult Edition. Uh, this one is Neverwhere. I don't know. But I would love to see maybe this get an official Blu ray. Not an official, but an actual Blu ray. Maybe like Vinegar Syndrome could put this out, or Synapse, you know, clean it up a little bit more, add some more special features. Um, uh, interviews be great if you've never seen Evil Laugh it's it's a decent 80s slasher um, not a lot of people talk about this film but I liked it there are a bunch of med students who buy this house to turn into like a kids hospital and of course someone's going around hacking them all up pretty cool some cool scenes a uh, machete to the balls was pretty funny uh, definitely check out Evil Laugh if you never did Great little slasher film. Next is put out by Anchor Bay. And I don't think anybody else have put this one out. Oh, 20th Century Fox. Cemetery Man. This would be insane for a uh, Blu-ray, maybe from Scream Factory, like a special edition. Cool alternative artwork. Maybe a poster. Interviews with Rupert. Interviews with others as well. Like he got some special features on this DVD, but I'll have to see more. This one is out of print, so it's kind of hard to find. And everyone needs to have this in the collection. That's a horror fan. Everybody. This movie is fun. It's insane. The uh, the zombie boy scouts are hysterical. Check out Cemetery Man if you can find it cheap. I know it's going for some prices, but if you can find it, get it. Next is a possible sequel to, well, actually this was put up by Lionsgate, and it could be a possible sequel to the Deadly Spawn, and that is Metamorphosis, the alien factor. Uh, stop animation, all practical effects, great gore. I could see where this could be a uh, sequel to Deadly Spawn, the way the monster looked. Fun. I fell in love with this film after watching it, and uh, it was a blind buy for me. Someone told me it was a possible sequel, so I had to check it out. Fantastic. I would love to see this one get a Blu-ray. As long as it doesn't look like crap like the uh, Deadly Spawn Blu-ray. I kept the DVD. I never got the Blu-ray. I watched it once from a friend that brought it over. <sighs> and I can see why people don't like the Blu-ray of that film. I'd love to see some justice for this one. Next, <clears throat> this one is put out on Showtime Entertainment. I don't exactly know who has the rights Paramount, probably. It's Ty West's The Roost. <clears throat> this one is a vampire, uh, vampire, killer bat slash zombie film. <clears throat> Kids are going to a Halloween wedding. They get lost, and I think the car breaks down, you know that. And of course, they're getting attacked by bats, and if they kill you, they turn into zombies. Very cool movie. Uh, it's actually got a cool beginning. Like a Sven type host comes out, introduces the cast and crew of, you know, we're on a Saturday morning or a Saturday night, late night, watching, viewing. And he introduces the roost. This would be kind of cool as a Blu-ray. 
a lot of fun. I think this is one of Ty West's uh, better films from his other films. But if you've never seen The Roost, I highly recommend it. A lot of fun. Next is, if I can get it. Uh, and this one's put out by Warner Brothers. So who knows? Stephen King's Cat's Eye. Since uh, Screen Factory, I think, has been doing some Warner Brothers films, this would be awesome as a collector's edition. Again, great anthology. I uh, got the guy who's trying to quit smoking. The second story is the bet around the high rise building. <laughs> that was cool. And of course, you have Drew Barrymore again from Firestarter to here, where a evil little troll is trying to kill her and the cat tries to save her. Cat is in all three films. That's why it's called Cat's Eye. It's based around the cat. And get rid of this damn stupid snapper case would be even better. Love to see this one get a Blu-ray, maybe a special features, interview with Drew Barrymore, uh, maybe an interview with Stephen King. That'd be kind of cool. You don't see as many of those interviews. But other than that, I would love to see this upgraded. Um, next one is another snapper case I would love to see upgraded from the 90s. This is Innocent Blood. It's a very cool premise of a vampire film. Again, this is, I think it's Warner Brothers. <clears throat> um, she is a vampire. She is after the mob, pretty much. <laughs> a cop who was undercover uh, finds out who she is. He falls in love with her, and she has to stop the, vamp uh, stop the mob itself, and she loves to feed on him. <laughs> she even made jokes like, you know, I'm trying Italian for once. Uh, of course, got some cool uh, actors and actresses in here. Uh, I think it was Sam Raimi. He has a cameo. Um, and of course, she has to, after she feeds, she has to decapitate the body. And if she doesn't, they come back as vampires. So of course, she m messed up with the mob boss. He lives. Now he's turning all his partners in crime into vampires. Great little uh, underrated vampire gem. I'd love to see that again. Get rid of the stupid snapper cases. They're so annoying. Next is another favorite of mine. It's the Aquatic Horror. Uh, Arstesian put it out. And uh, DVD. Yeah, it's just Arstesian. Deep Star 6. Screen Factory put out Leviathan. I think Abyss has one. I would love to see Deep Star 6 get a release. Maybe keep the cover art. I love this cover art with the Deep Sea Diver helmet suit cut in half. Because it does happen in the movie. And that's the original poster too. I would love to see this in Blu-ray. Get all special cleaning out of it. Uh, some great special features would be awesome. Interviews with cast, you know, other shit. That would be great. I love Deep Star 6. We'd love to see that get a release. Along with Endless Descent. Even though that one doesn't have a DVD, that would be awesome. Get rid of my VHS. Uh, next is Arachnophobia. This one is put out, I think... I don't know. I'm not good with this stuff on who puts out the movies. Can't, even, can't read the damn. Uh, oh, that's the one with the Sphinx. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Come on, focus. Well, fuck it. Uh, this would be cool for a Blu ray. You can have interviews with uh, Jeff Daniels, John Goodman, uh, maybe do a little documentary style on actual arachnophobia. That would be kind of cool, how it affects people and everything, along with the movie. Love to see this. It scared a lot of people in the theaters. Me, I love spiders and spider movies, so it didn't bother me. My wife won't see it because she hates spiders. So, Arachnophobia would be kind of badass as a uh, Blu-ray. Next is, a, it does have a Blu-ray in Region 2, but again, I'm trying to do all movies that have Region 1s that don't have them. And that is Slither. Um, kind of surprised that this one has not received a Blu-ray in the United States. Come on, people. Let's get it going. Maybe 
more features with like interviews with Nathan Fillin, Michael Rooker. Be awesome. Love Slither. Kind of like uh, when, I worst, when I first saw this movie in the theaters, uh, Night of the Creeps came to mind. And I thought, wow, that's kind of a cool premise. Little red slugs invade and, of course, turn into zombies like things. Pretty cool movie. I love watching this film. Very cheesy, very fun. Uh, next one is another 90s gem put out by Lionsgate, which will probably, like what JP said, anything usually Lionsgate uh, has, does not come out on Blu ray, but that will be Sleep Stalker. Uh, this is a cool little 90s gem. Not a lot of people talk about this film, and it should be. This should be in many people's collection. A uh, serial killer makes a deal with a, I think, a voodoo priest to have his soul uh, trapped in sand because he gets caught, gets uh, gets killed, but lives on through the sand. He can change his body into sand, like bullets hit him and they just fall out. Uh, he doesn't bleed, he just has sand come out. He goes after his, well, another person, another reason why I'm not going after that because that will be a bad spoiler. But he kills his friends with different ways of sand, uh, suffocating one person, spinning really fast, turning into like a sandstorm and like burning, like a sand burn. Pretty cool movie. Got a cool special practical effects in it. Uh, different type of ending, which I was kind of shocked when I first saw the movie. I loved it. Uh, you can probably get this pretty cheap. I highly recommend Sleep Stalker, but I would love to see this in a Blu-ray with maybe more special features to it. Next would be great in a uh, double pack. This one is put out by New Line Entertainment. That is The Hidden in The Hidden 2. Maybe a great uh, double pack itself. If not, just put out The Hidden. Hidden 2 was okay. It follows after the first movie. So maybe put them together best way to do it hidden is a hidden gem itself people don't know much about the hidden they should definitely pick this up great alien invasion film this alien slug like thing uh jumps into people's bodies controls them makes them steal murder it likes fast cars it likes loud rock and roll music and of course the other alien is kind of a cop like and teams up with a human cop to go after the creature and of course it jumps in from body to body and stays hidden until all hell breaks loose a lot of fun a lot of cool special practical effects if you've never seen the hidden highly recommend it this one needs a needs some love people maybe part two uh, next is orca the only killer whale movie that's out there this is put out by paramount uh, back when Jaws came out, put out all the killer creature features. Killer Whale, I think it's the only one that is a horror movie. This could use some love. I don't think this has a Blu-ray. It deserves it. If it does, oops, fast forward. <laughs> killer Whale gets revenge on the whaling crew that kills, her, kills its life mate and its baby. Awesome. Love Orca. Uh, next is put out by Anchor Bay. Another one that deserves in a Blu-ray. be an awesome special feature. It's collector's edition will be Slugs. Hell, Screen Factory put out Squirm. Why not put out Slugs? Come on. Uh, great 80s cheese all around. Explosions. Uh, cool eye explosion. Uh, nudity. Gore. Blood. Everything is in this film. Yes, it is about Killer Guardian Slugs, but come on. This is just cheese all along. I love to see maybe interviews with the uh, <clears throat> actors and actresses. Maybe the director, J.P. Simon, who did Pieces and uh, the Pod People. This would be awesome as an awesome Blu-ray. Deserves it. Versus the, uh, this was actually put out by Anchor Bay. It also, there's I think a midnight release with a different cover art. And it doesn't have anything. This has some small special features. If you want to call them special features but it needs a release for sure for a blu-ray next is another double feature which i would love because this one's out of print 
and that is Watchers and Watchers 2. Both great films, maybe a back-to-back -back double feature, maybe not a combo double, but put out one. Maybe put out Watchers 1 out with Corey Haim and everything. Great 80s creature feature film. Then maybe put out another one for Watchers 2. This one's more like the book, but Watchers 1 is awesome. I love both these films. Uh, the Outsider, which is the evil creature after the Golden uh, Lab Retriever dog. It hates people. It hates the dog. It kills people, rips out their eyes. It smashes mirrors. There's a whole reason behind it, but they made a 3 and 4, but I'd love to see 1 and 2 get the Blu-ray release for sure. Uh, next is uh, The Pit. is another 80s gem which is really fucked up film. Uh, this drive-in is out of print, unfortunately. Another Anchor Bay. But uh, the pit, this weird-ass kid who finds a giant hole in the ground, comes to find out there's these tripped-out Ewoks that live in there and they're called troglodytes. He starts feeding them meat from the butcher, runs out, he decides to get revenge on those who tormented him. You know, the bully, some little girl on a tricycle is a bitch. The old mean old lady and a bunch of others and starts feeding them to the troglodytes really weird ass film love it i'd love to see maybe this one just get a standalone blu-ray special features commentary any of that crap would be awesome and my last which i'm kind of shocked that this anthology does not have a uh, blu-ray and it's from paramount and that is tales from the dark side the movie uh great anthology you can have a ton of uh, people getting interviewed with this film. Christian Slater, Steve Buscemi, Julian Moore. That whole list right there. Different cover art, possibly. I don't know if this one is getting a Blu-ray. Would be sick if it did. Uh, the Mummy story was great. The Gargoyle. Every time I watch that damn Gargoyle uh, story, it's depressing. You just feel sad for the dude. What a dumbass, but great story. And also the killer cat is awesome too, the cat from hell. Uh, another recommended anthology would be perfect for a Blu-ray. Collector's edition, standalone, whatever. Alright guys, this was uh, my list that I chose <coughs> for my video response from good old JP there. So I'm going to tag a couple people. I'm going to tag Kyle, the horror file. Let's see what you think that from your DVDs on the Blu-ray would be great. Uh, come on, Jeremy. NES Ruler 22. Let's see what you got. That would be kind of cool. And I'm going to go with uh, Cody Cooper, uh, Dead by Dawn there. Uh, he's got a big collection. I'd like to see what you got. Hey, if you guys want to do it too, if I haven't said your name, go for it. Uh, I tag you too. So uh, make a list doesn't matter how many films or what what you go through figure out what movies that are on dvd that you would love to see on blu-ray uh thanks very much for watching guys let me know what you think if you don't want to do a video response just type a list down below i'd like to hear what your thoughts are thanks very much for watching guys and uh enjoy later peace